Hey, welcome to another Valley Forged. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the best laser you can get for under $800. And uh, I looked around. I mean, I wanted to buy a laser under $800 myself. And I knew what I wanted to get. So I'm not sponsored by anybody. I, there's nothing... Nobody sends me anything. <laughs> this is purely my review and my opinion of uh, lasers that are under $800 and which one you should get. And spoiler alert, it, there's a no clear winner to me between two of them. But uh, I have owned several and uh, I first bought the Atom Stack which is the Atom Stack S10 or X7 Pro. Uh, I think it's a great machine. It worked right out of the box, and I was pretty happy with it, other than the fact that you, if you're looking at the screen right now, you see right where how close it is from the material to the bottom of the laser module. That was a major problem for me. Uh, there's a tiny little card it comes with that you stick underneath, and <laughs> I, I like to do cutting. And if you cut pieces of wood and you use air assist or without, uh, a little piece of wood might just stick up. And you can go to my Atom Stack review and breaking up with my Atom Stack. And you can see what I mean there. It was just wasting too much wood. It was causing too much problems. I could have maybe fixed it by cutting the bottom or something. But, you know, just overall, it wasn't a machine I was super happy with. So that one was out for me. But right now it's $500. I think it's a great price. They're doing some special. I don't know if it's going to be that much when you look. But uh, at $500, I think uh, it's, a, it's a darn good machine for that price. And I think the service will, will be fine. Um, I never dealt too much with service as far as fixing it because uh, I was just not happy. But it worked good. Uh, you know, these rollers, there are so many little rollers that you would have to tighten. And this uh, the gantry on top, again, is just not really solid. Now, I guess on this Pro, that uh, they have updated this a bit from the one that I had. And so they may be better. But I, it still looks pretty precarious to me, the way it's so high. Uh, it just, the center of gravity just doesn't seem to be a very good design. It's made out of off-the-shelf parts basically for these extrusions. But again, I think for that type of price, it's excellent. Uh, next, we can go to the X-Tool D1, which is the most expensive right now out of the three uh, as a 10 watt. I think 10 watts your sweet spot for under $800, at least currently. And uh, I don't think you're going to be getting any 20 watt with any sort of service. Now, they're None of these machines under $800 are completely foolproof where they're not going to have any issues. So being able to deal with some sort of customer service, say something isn't right, I think is very important. And a lot of people have said how difficult it was for uh, Xtool to get anything fixed. But at the same time, you have so much support because so many people have bought this machine. In fact, I can almost guarantee you that looking for lasers, you have come across an X-Tool commercial. They're everywhere. And a lot of people have bought these machines. So you are going to have some support when it comes to help. And a lot of the issues are the same. You know, some of these, uh, this cable management system on the side. I've heard some air assist issues and different things, you know. Uh, but overall, I think this is an excellent machine. And the only reason I think I didn't go with the X tool was because I'm a bit of a contrarian. Maybe you're the same. I'm like, I, you know, I got sick of the advertising and I just felt like, hey, I'm going to have, I want something just a little different. So I did go with the Ortura Laser Master 3. And uh, right away I was disappointed. <laughs> As you can see in my past videos, um, I had an issue with the motherboard and. The worst thing is when you buy something and it doesn't work right out of the box. So they literally flew one to me within t like three days. It was here. Uh, you know, I had some user errors uh, as far as um, the belt tightening. Um, but overall, once the machine got uh, up and running, it the thing hasn't stopped. 
I run this thing like eight hours a day, every single day. It has not had any issues. It is not caught on any pieces of wood. I have not wasted one piece of wood at all, really from even user error, which is odd, but, <laughs> but everything that I've made has come out exactly how I wanted it to. It is cut this very consistently the same. I, you know, I can't say enough that once I got this thing going, it has been excellent. And right now, I don't know, you know, when you're watching this again, but it's $599, which I think is a good price. Now, I have had my criticisms. You can just watch uh, my 24-hour review. Now, that is before I started running it 24-7 every day since then. I have made so much stuff and uh, very impressed, but it does have its issues, and you can watch my review on that. Uh, I The Air Assist to me is, even though it is the one machine you're going to get for this price, the, the Air Assist goes right through the top of the tube, uh, through the laser, which is absolutely how it should work. But this one just doesn't do that great. And uh, my next video, as I've mentioned before, I think I'm building my own laser assist for this and I will show you. But uh, the customer service was fantastic. Uh, they really did a good job. And I think for the price, you cannot beat this. Now, if these were equal prices, I think that you would have a pretty tough time comparing the two. Uh, so, And sometimes one goes on sale, the other one doesn't. So depending on when you're buying it, I would choose either one of these. Now, if, you're gonna, if this isn't on sale or if it's $760, and both of them are, um, then maybe perhaps, you know, if this is up at 700 and this one is at 700 and you're willing to spend just a little bit more. Uh, just uh, the other day, uh, Louisiana Hobby Guy, he recommended this 24-watt output um, at Tezzer. Now, what is so crazy for me is the names of a lot of these are just terrible. I mean, this was my first 5.5 watt, which is a great little machine, especially for $300 right now. Um, but the Jinmitsu Jinsoku LC40, I mean, who names that something like that? We've got one called the Sculpt Fin and Jikoda. I mean, what are the, the names of these machines? It's, come on, guys, if you're trying to sell something. But this thing, you're going to get a 20 to 24 watt, depending on what you're looking at, for $1,000. So if you're already going to spend $760, you may be able to save a little bit. I mean, it comes with air assist, so you're not going to deal with that. To me, this seems like a very, very good deal uh, for $1,000. You're going to be able to do a lot more things with a 20 watt. You can see this thing is built very well. And... Uh, Louisiana Hobby Guy has uh, reviewed the Laser Master 3, and he tends to like this better. Of course, you get more power. That's, that's a major thing. But I think the air assist problem was also something he was not happy with. But this is kind of cheating because this is over $800, $200 over $800 right now. So for this video and for somebody who wants to spend less than $800 and quite a bit less... $200 less right now if you were to buy. I don't have an affiliate link. You can just go check it out yourself. As you can see, I purchased this myself with my own money. And uh, I am extremely, extremely happy with it. So if a 10 watt is something that fits your wheelhouse, uh, I would highly recommend it. I have bought the extension kit as well, and it is on the way. It should be here any day. So I will be reviewing uh, lots of things about this particular laser. Uh, but again, I, I maybe somebody out there has done an X-Tool D1 Pro direct comparison to the Laser Master 3. I'd be interested in seeing that. If uh, X-Tool wants to send me one, I would ha be happy to do that as well. But I think you couldn't go wrong with either of those, so that's going to be my recommendations. All right, I will see you in the next one. Bye.